Many of the fears for people of keeping tarantulas, certainly the moms in the crowd who don't want their kids to have one, is what happens if it escapes? Well, prevention is worth an ounce of cure. How's that saying go? You want to prevent this from happening. So there's a bunch of wonderful products on the market that can aid in that. Certainly, you can't help it if someone leaves the door open, the tarantula is going to get out. But you certainly can pick a product that's got a locking mechanism on it. So when you shut the door and lock it, the tarantula has no means of escape. It's impossible for the animal to get out. Of course, if Junior leaves the door open, you're gonna have an escaped tarantula. This is on the new Vivarium terrarium products that are in the market. In the old school fish tanks, we simply use a very sturdy black clip that clicks onto the side of the tank, one on the left, one on the right, that lid is on there. There's no way that tarantula can get out. You have to be diligent in making sure you do that. You can't be distracted. You can't put it on cockeyed. You can't leave that a little bit open. You can't leave the top open. Just lock the cage if you don't want to lose your tarantula. It sounds silly enough, but people do make mistakes. No one's infallible out there. So if it does get out, what do we do? Panic, sell the house and move out of town? No, we just have to think for a second. Number one, did it just happen? Have you seen the tarantula in there? If so, what I usually do, not that it ever happened to me, is barricade the, the doors. Put something underneath the door so it can't get out of the room that it's in. It's not gonna go in the, all throughout the house. A tarantula that gets out will roam around, so you gotta make sure you know that when this happened last. When's the last time you saw the tarantula? If it's a recent thing, like you turn your back and the tarantula's out, he's in the room, obviously. So block off the lower parts of the room. What type of tarantula is it? Is it a rose hair tarantula that's pretty much terrestrial? Is it a pink toe, likes to climb up? If it's one of those, look around the ceilings, the corner of the room. That's probably the first place it's gonna go. It's gonna go right in the corner. It's gonna stop and say, I'm hidden. No one can see me, even though you can. If he's on the ground, he's gonna go under the first thing he sees. He's gonna go into a pair of your father's shoes. That's where they usually end up. Or any kind of hide spot that's dark and moist, that's where they're gonna go. So you really gotta get on your hands and knees for the terrestrial ones and just look around, slowly move things. You don't wanna do it aggressively because you could crush the tarantula. His exoskeleton is very fragile, remember. So be careful when you're doing that. And then, lastly, if that doesn't work, I sometimes would put a bowl of water out with a sponge in it. The tarantula is going to get thirsty. He's eventually going to want to find something to drink. And occasionally, you can lure them back to that spot, and you'll see them sitting on the sponge taking a drink of water. If you lost it three days ago, you've got a big problem on your hands. It could be just about anywhere. So. The issue is what? Keeping the cage locked. Be diligent about it. Make sure you put the clips back on on the old fish tanks and simply lock the door and you'll be safe.